It's time to attach our teddy bear all together and finish him up. So what we have here is 230. This is for the, um, I think it's for the 6x10. There'll be a chart that shows you what size doll joints to use to attach everything. Um, so these are 35 millimeter. This is a 45 millimeter and these are 45 millimeter. You can also use 55 millimeter in the legs. Um, I don't have any of those right now, so I'm just going to use the 45 millimeter, And we're just going to put our bear all together. So I'm going to start with the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head and I'm going to reach inside and put this doll joint inside the head. Okay, so there's the hole. So now we know where it is, and I'm just going to already have the doll joint inside the head, and I'm just going to find that hole, which is a little bit harder with fur fabric. There we go. So we're just going to push it so that the doll joint protrudes out of the bottom of the teddy bear's head. Just move these things out of the way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to locate the hole here for turning the teddy bear and I'm just going to feel inside for this post and I'll show you that the doll joint is going to go for the head right there. So there's a hole in the top for the doll joint. So I'm just going to look and see where it is and put my finger at it. Now I'm going to take the doll joint and push it through that hole. And you'll see this is inside the torso. You can see there is our doll joint. We're going to take a washer and put it inside the body, feed it onto that post. I'm just making sure I don't have any bunched up fur anywhere. Okay, so now we have the washer on there. Now we're going to put the locking disc. I like to snap it down and then work it in. Make sure you pull all the fur out so nothing's going to get stuck in there. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab the whole assembly. I can feel the doll joint post inside the head. I can feel the washer and the locking disc inside the torso. And I'm just going to push them together and snap it all the way. Okay, so now our head is attached. Turn it to the proper orientation. So here's our tail. Head is attached. I have it turned to the front. Now we need to find, let's go ahead and attach the legs next. So we're going to try and locate the leg hole. This is tough. I believe it's right here. There it is. Okay. So you can see you can see that our leg will attach here. It's very important that you attach the right leg to the right side of the body the left leg to the left side of the body. So before you go any further, make sure you have your legs laid out properly. This is the right leg, this is the right hole. I can tell because the circle is on the inside of the leg and the toes are pointing up. So I'm going to take one of the doll joints and I'm going to cut a hole right here. 
You can also use a seam ripper for this. So I'm just going to cut the fabric so that the doll joint can come through. Okay, so we need our locking disc, locking disc and washer for the 45 millimeter joint. I, have, I know that this is the right side of the body because of the tail being on the back. Here's the head, tail on the back. I'm in the right leg hole. I'm going to reach inside the body right here and find the stick and put my finger right at that hole. I'm going to take the leg and I'm going to stick it through the hole into the body. Alright, so now that leg is on. And I know it's the right leg for the right side of the body. Don't install your legs backwards. Take time to lay it out. I'm going to reach inside the body and put the flat washer onto the doll joint. I'm going to reach inside with the locking disc. And I'm going to find the doll joint. I'm going to make sure all the fur is out of the way. And I'm going to squeeze it together and lock it in place. All the way. Okay, so now we have one leg on. Now we're going to find the other hole for the other leg.